Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banning, Panning and Beyond. Uh, I've decided to join in on Mask Monday and do an unboxing while I'm at it. Now, I'm not normally a mask person a lot, um, but I won't be participating every week, but I thought, you know, every now and then I'm going to jump on and I'm going uh, to do one. So I don't have access to my normal headbands are in the bathroom at the moment um and my husband is asleep so i can't get to it wow look how shiny my forehead looks um anyway so i've just grabbed one of my halloween ones and the mask i'm going to use today is this Ganya skin active one it's a hydrating one um so it's got hyaluronic acid um what else do we have in here grapeseed extract so it's for smoothing and re-plumping um, and yeah, I just thought it was a sort of a nice, gentle, um, one that hopefully won't irritate, um, the breakouts that I'm currently, um, getting still, uh, never ending battle. So, um, I'm just going to pop this on and then I'm going to get into the unboxing and I've already double checked that, um, this one stays on for 15 minutes. So I'm just going to, if it, I mean, if it stays on slightly longer, it doesn't really matter. Um, always good fun trying to open these masks and get them on. I always feel like I look like a serial killer when I put these on my face. So it's said to pop it on and then peel the, the blue side off. I, I don't know, which is weird because how am I supposed to, I can't see what I'm doing because the blue bit is going over the top of the the eye bit so mm. <laughs> there we go it's going to pop that inside and then I'm going to smooth it on so just double checking that I have put it the right way so it says if I can just get this around my mouth so I can actually talk um unfold the mask gently apply on clean face with the blue protective film visible on the outside of your face so i did it right uh remove the blue protective skin adjust the mask to the contours of your face leave it on for 15 minutes okay so let's just get this on unfortunately i don't have a roller uh to roll this on so I'm just going to have to sort of push it on and hope that it stays on throughout talking for 15 minutes so right so we're at three basically three and a half minutes right now um didn't just have to use this pink towel to dry my hands so um, I have three unboxings to do um, today I have already pre-opened one and um, but I haven't looked inside and it's from Nomad Cosmetics so I know what's inside uh, this one but okay so it's a package within a package so we'll get to just uh, two eyeshadow palettes and I actually meant to look up how to pronounce um, one of the palettes so if anyone who is familiar with Nomad Cosmetics um, might already know which palette I'm referring to then um, and uh, yeah if I butcher the name well I'm sure I wouldn't be the first person to have done that so, so much for me being organised with this one. So, it's good to see that it's come packaged um, really uh, nicely in the bubble wrap. So, and then we've got tissue paper around it. Um, sticker, where will you go next? Hmm. Who knows? All right. So, this is the first time I've ever ordered from Nomad Cosmetics. Uh, and I've seen plenty of YouTubers uh, using their palettes and they do really, really like them. 
I've just got a cup of tea there I need to move because I don't want to knock it over and end up with tea everywhere. So there's a nice more bubble wrap and a little postcard and it just says thank you so much for your order. We hope you'll love this is why I need the the glasses. Uh, your new nomad goodies enjoy thank you so much for your support and first order enjoy felicia and i can't read the second name i don't know if it's arty or something like that uh, but it, it's that's so cute um so that is to do with the palette um that i bought and i and it's maybe Cartagena Magica that's C-A-R-T-A-G-E-N-A -A -E so uh, if anyone wants to sound it out in the comments for me I'll probably just end up googling how to pronounce it anyway even though it's too late and I should have already done that um so uh, just leave that box there and let's see and let's hope it's arrived undamaged and it has and oh my goodness uh like i'm always so bad at this but i'm trying to hide that mirror so it's upside down but that is just simply gorgeous uh, there's some really nice shimmers in there and yeah i'm ugh, the, the prints i don't know how well it's picking up the imprints on the shades probably you can see it there in some of them but just absolutely gorgeous so mm, I will definitely enjoy um, using that one. And the other palette that I ordered, which really appealed to me, was the Marrakesh palette. I can get it out of the box. Be good. Okay, this one wants to be a pain in the butt. I'll have to open the other side and push it through. Where there's a will, there's a way. Ah, oh, so this is beautiful as well. Look at the outside packaging on that. My sister would die for this palette. She is into all sorts of um, Moroccan sort of style prints and I, yet again another beautiful color story um i am trying to get more into the greens and blues teals aquas turquoise all shades and variations of greens and blues so that's nice because there's just a pop of them in a relatively um warm toned palette so that will be really really nice so um so that is the nomad order the next one, I'm just going to pop them in the floor and keep an eye on. So I have to go about 10 minutes left for the mask. So this is a Beauty Bay order I put in recently. And I'm really, really kicking myself now that I didn't get their, um, what is it called? The Book of Magic palette. Um, but I don't think it's limited edition. So it's just that I have to pay um, shipping regardless um, of the order size and um, I should have just utilized the free shipping but I was unsure of the palette at the time so in trying to be more mindful with my purchases I didn't go ahead with it uh, unfortunately that might mean that in the long run it's going to cost me more money because I'm going to have to pay for uh, shipping again so um, all right so this is something i mentioned in another haul video and hopefully this one will go up after that um but it is the um revolution pro under eye primer in the hydrating and it has been out of stock for ages on the beauty bay website i'm guessing they did a stock take or something um because it popped up um because i had it in my wish list and it was on sale for something like six australian dollars 
and uh, so I was like you beauty I popped it in my cart and uh, basically once I processed my order it went out of stock again so clearly it's not something they've restocked it was just something that they um, managed to find so I'm going to um, compare that against a much more expensive one that I recently bought um, from Mecca and, and see how they compare because obviously this is difficult because I have to get it from England. I, I can't get it in Australia um, or I have to order it in from the US. And by the time I pay for shipping, it puts it up to sort of the same as a high-end one that I can get locally. Um, but if I can continue to get it from Beauty Bay um, in future and just, you know, pop it in with an order I would have placed anyway, then it will work out um, really well. Uh, the other thing that I picked up was the Milani eyeshadow primer because everybody raves about how good it is and I have really been struggling with the eyeshadow primer um, that I've used actually even the other day I ended up using a different one and I just wasn't happy with it so this was um, relatively inexpensive so I decided to grab that as well and um, this is the last product I only got the three products in this order and uh, it was something I've been eyeing off uh, and I know it's controversial and I hope I don't cop any hate for this, um, but I actually ended up getting a Jeffree Star um, product, um, one of his glosses called Spank Me. It is just so stunning. It looks um, just beautiful on. I will swatch it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using this as a topper over other lippies. And with me going, you know, I'm in spring and going into summer, it's going to be such a pretty colour. And it'll probably go really, really nicely with my Nomad palette um, as well. So, uh, yeah, can't say that I'm I'm not a Jeffree Star supporter, so to speak. Um, but, you know, I do really, really like his products. So, uh, and that's um, something that um, I have not bought any of his eyeshadow palettes since. It was the, the conspiracy um, one I got last. But anything that... Uh, there's been a lot of his palettes that he's released in the last few years that just have not appealed to me um, whatsoever. So, anyway, so that is Beauty Bay. And the <laughs> piece de resistance is this one right here. Big FedEx box now i can thank siobhan uh so any of my new subscribers who don't know who siobhan is uh she is a friend of mine that i met on instagram and she lives in new zealand so and any of you who may not be aware um and haven't picked up on my accent i'm australian so uh not quite we're both in the southern hemisphere but uh yeah, still don't live close to each other um but siobhan and i've actually become really really good friends and um, she alerted me to the fact that Natasha Denona was having um, a sale and a 20, it was 25% off and I have been eyeing pellets off um, of hers for a while. I'm just trying to look at the best place to open this and I really did not want to pass up such a good sale and I didn't want to wait till Black Friday because... Uh, who knows what the sales are going to be and whether or not what's going to be in stock. Um, okay, so it says pull to open. <laughs> so, good job. Uh, all right. And I'm eating my own words here because Tyra from 100 Pellets um, Later, she does like a, basically, you know, um, an anti-haul um, video and she reviewed one of the palettes that I agreed with her and yet I still found myself um, when it came to it ordering it um, in the fact that it could have been done a lot better uh, yet I know we're allowed to change our minds and I did so I ended up ordering it all right so there's a lot of packing in here and I've still got four minutes to go so hopefully by the time I finish unpacking all of these it'll be time to take the mask off and anybody uh can let me know who actually started um mask monday um please let me know in the comments uh, i know a lot of you ladies um that we're all sort of supporting each other um as youtubers are participating 
um, in this and someone out there will know uh, hopefully who started this. I know that um, just Nina uh, does a mask manager. She was the first person that I followed that um, that or subscribed to I should say that does it. Um, but I don't know if she actually started it. So now the first palette that I got from Natasha Donona, which I can thank Siobhan for because I've hummed and hard about this palette for a while. I wanted to wait and see it in person, but I don't have a Sephora close to me. And when she sent me my um, birthday present recently, which I've done a video for, and I, um, I'll probably, I think I'll, I might just link that one at the end of this video. Uh, she sent me one of, uh, like a sample card that had one of the shades and it, it just, it made the decision um, for me. So I ended up ordering the Natasha Denona Love Palette. And uh, oh, this makes me so nervous with these. They're going to turn up uh, not broken. So it, it's just, you can't deny, I know that it's, they're expensive, which hence why I was so happy to get this on sale. Uh, but the quality of the shadows in the Natasha Denona palettes um, are really, really good. Um, are they worth the price? I think that's um, up to each individual person to decide. Um, but I just, I, yeah, I'm really, really happy, uh, basically. Not that you can tell, <laughs> uh, but I'm really, really happy uh, that I managed uh, to finally get my hands on this. So, all right, moving on, we have two more palettes. I'm getting close to my 18 and a half minutes now. So, like I said, if I go slightly over, it doesn't matter. So, Naomi from Beauty Dreams by Naomi. I'm always so bad with names. I've, I've said this to her once before. Beauty Dreams with Naomi, Beauty Dreams by Naomi. Um, I'll put it up on the screen, her correct channel name. Uh, she definitely influenced me. Um, in this palette so if uh, she's watching she'll probably already know uh, what it is um, so I decided to go ahead and get the glam palette uh, now I generally don't sort of go for cool tones she assured me that they are more neutral she said I look funny one-sided um yeah more neutral um, rather than cool and I have to agree uh, some of the the looks she's done are just so glamorous um and uh, when I saw her use this particular palette uh, I just thought <laughs> yeah I want it but it was just a matter of holding off until I could um get it at a cheaper price so I'm, I've done that so I will definitely look forward um to using that one Last palette in this, in this haul. God, I love the wasted packaging, but I know we need it in order to protect our goodies. So, so this is the one that I'm eating my words over. So sorry, Tara. Uh, and uh, anyone guessing what it might be? It's the new trichrome, uh, or is it yeah, tri triochrome? I keep saying trichrome, but tri triochrome. Um, palette i am a huge fan this is really starting to annoy me um but it's stuck really well down here so that's good um i'm a huge multi-chrome um fan and this was just really bothering me i just thought i'm gonna regret this i know it's limited edition if and i don't pick it up i will regret it um really love the unusual color story and um like i said getting it on um, discount 25% off just really is what um, made me decide to bite the bullet so I'm happy um, that I can get some really really nice looks out of this and I'm definitely going to look forward to um, having a play and putting it in um, with my other Natasha Denona palettes so all right I got three more things to open 
I might as well do these ones first. These were other ones that I'd been eyeing off and I held off buying. Uh, extremely expensive, so I would not be paying um, full price for these. But again, multi-chromes, could not help myself. Um, they are the Chromium Liquid Eyeshadows. And I'm not going to swatch them because I'm running low on time, but I got the shades Dragonfly and Ultraviolet. So if I can remember, I'll try and um get a photo that i can pop up where you can see the swatches of those so i'm gonna leave that aside always love this mess when i have to clean up after i've done a haul video oh see this is where i forgot what i ordered because i said i didn't have um any more palettes but now that i have opened it um yes and this is a something else that i i actually duped um when i was on my no buy um to help me decide whether i did or um didn't want it and um yeah it is the cranberry palette and i had siobhan actually sent me swatches of this that she had taken on a, uh, she'd done on a visit i think to sephora um and um yeah and i just the swatches were just absolutely uh stunning so i'm really happy that i finally got this it's been on my wish list um for ages so um, yeah, so that is it for my three hauls and I am now done with my mask well and truly. So I'm going to pull this off and uh, pop it in the packet and just oh, a lot of excess serum and my skin feels really, really lovely. So um yeah, so I'm glad I got to um, get a mask Monday in and also um, get some uh, get another haul video um, done. So it's probably going to go actually up out of order, I think, um, because I want to try and um, get this up as soon as possible uh, because I have a lot of videos already scheduled and I don't really um, want to delay this one. So um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining me and um, yeah, I'll see you all again soon. Bye.